On YouTube, you will find many videos which contain the misinformation that you should use a VPN while using Tor. Anyone who knows anything about cyber security will know that using Tor over a VPN connection is a horrible idea, but that will not stop people from following these misleading videos and putting their privacy at risk. In this video, we will go over the bullshit reason video creators give for suggesting that people use a VPN while using Tor and explain the best way to protect your privacy. We'll be looking at how to set up a VPN so that we can use Tor securely without the prying eyes of our internet service provider. One of the most common reasons claimed for using a VPN with Tor is to hide the fact that you are connecting to the Tor network from your internet service provider. The reason normally given for wanting to hide the fact you are using Tor from your ISP is that either those ISPs suspect that you are doing something illegal due to the misinformation about the Tor network or that government agencies are going to put you on a watch list for daring to use Tor to protect your privacy. This argument is stupid for a number of reasons. What your ISP thinks is pretty much irrelevant as without evidence of you doing something illegal, there is not much they can do with the information that you are using at all. That also does not take into account that when using a VPN, the provider of that VPN effectively acts as your ISP who may or may not be logging your traffic. If you are concerned with your ISP noticing you are connecting for a Tor relay, then you don't have to spend money on a VPN. This is because Tor has these things called bridges. They are basically guard nodes that are both unlisted and whose connection is designed to look like generic SSL traffic in order to not raise suspicion with your ISP. AKA, there is no need to pay for a VPN in order to hide that type of usage. Convenience. One of the most laughable things I found when researching on YouTube about the topic of VPNs at all was someone showing off a feature in Proton VPN where the VPN provider has specific servers that push traffic over the tool network. Of course, doing this has a double whammy effect on destroying your privacy as not only are you pushing traffic over a fixed guard, aka your VPN provider, but you are most likely also using a normal web browser to access the Tor network that will leave a unique fingerprint that can be used to track exactly who you are, defeating the whole purpose of using the Tor network. The funny thing is that by doing this, you are not really gaining much in the way of convenience over just downloading and launching the Tor browser, making this whole Tor plus VPN combo service a choice that no one in their right mind should ever choose. To avoid exit relay blocking. Earlier on, we talked about people running Tor over a VPN, but you could for whatever reason run the setup in reverse and connect to a VPN over the Tor network, which results in your traffic entering the Tor network and exiting out of a VPN node. Doing this does have the advantage of you not connected to your VPN with your real IP address, but that is an extremely small advantage compared to the massive problems that come with this type of wonky setup. These include 1. Your VPN almost certainly knows who you are. You might think that logging into a VPN over Tor is going to help you stay anonymous, but what use is trying to avoid your VPN seeing your IP address if they already know who you are? I mean, most people will have already compromised their privacy by using a payment method that is tied to them personally, such as your credit slash debit card or your PayPal account. Or even if you used a semi-private payment method such as Bitcoin, you would have likely at some point logged into your VPN provider using your real IP address. That would then be linkable with any session you make over Tor due to using the same user account. Basically, a VPN over Tor set relies on your VPN provider keeping to their no login policy, which you have no way of auditing. 2. You stick out like a sore farm. 
If you decide to, unlike a lot of people doing this, to use the Tor browser, a lot of the extra anti-fingerprinting stuff will be made useless due to you not using a Tor XIP as that will put you in a much smaller bucket of users compared to pretty much everyone else who uses the default Tor setup. This will also make it easier for governmental departments to de-anonymize your traffic and identify what you are doing over the Tor network. How and why YouTubers spread misinformation about Tor and VPNs A lot of the misinformation concerning the topic of internet privacy tools comes from YouTubers. Some of the bad information is caused by a lack of knowledge, but the bigger issue comes from the YouTubers who get paid when their viewers use a special link to sign up for a VPN service. This allows YouTubers who don't care much about the privacy of their viewers to use the false notion that using a VPN of Tor is a good idea to convince them to pay for a VPN service or why that YouTuber gets a high percentage of the subscription fee the viewer is paying in return. Closing thoughts. I hope this video has helped you to improve your privacy while using the Tor network. If you are still concerned about your ISP finding out about your Tor, you said, please, instead of paying for a VPN, use one of the many free methods to get hold of Tor Bridges, including using the Request Bridges option in the Tor browser itself and solving the capture, sending an email to bridges at torproject.org from either a Gmail or RiseUp email account, or using the Bridges DB page at bridges.torproject.org forward slash options in your browser to request bridges that can then be pasted into the tool browser thank you for watching